<laughs> I am so honored that you have invited me here, my lord, to this grave council of war. I do have a plan. I do have a strategy. I have noticed that the Christians fight amongst themselves constantly. They divide themselves into Catholics, Protestants, and they fight and burn and kill each other, as well as attacking our southern coasts, attacking our temples, killing our peasants. My Lord, this is what I suggest. We will allow them to fight amongst themselves until they weaken themselves, and when they're weak enough, we will take their land. <laughs> yes, my Lord, let them destroy themselves. The way to win a war is when you do not have to fight. Well, was that exciting enough for you? Now, beyond the acting, <laughs> beyond the acting, we're talking about archery here. Now, uh, I'm going to teach you how to juice the bow, to put power into that bow, so that you can kill the enemies of the realm. <laughs> Anyhow, this is what we're going to do. Um, it, archery is kind of like experimental archaeology. And in having practiced it for a while, I have uh, repeated the, uh, the learning process and the mistakes that our ancestors have made. And, uh, and I've made plenty. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to show you the most important thing of all. And I'm just going to use this piece of string. I've shown you quite a few things with a piece of string. So we're just going to wrap this uh, stringer around my hand. And I will use it. Now, listen. When you're using the power train, you've got a bow, you've got a string, and it's all there. But that power is really visible like this. Here it is. Right? The bow the string, but the power goes through here. Let's see if you can see this. Now, I'm going to show you what's so important. Remember I've told you about the two little boys? The two little boys work together. You see how the two little boys are always hanging off that string? 180 degrees if there's pressure on them. That's how they do it. So this is how, uh, how I really aim the ball. I simply pull back with this hand and watch. You see how the pressure back here, the front hand just goes into place. And that's all there is to it. Bring it back and swing it on. It's as simple as that. No anchor, none of this kind of stuff. Just stretch it out and feel the pressure towards the target. Okay? Now, that's a... Uh, uh, the most important thing that you can do. The, uh, there's other things also, you know, like we always hear about do the exact same thing all the time. Now listen, you take your finger and touch the end of your nose ten times in the same spot. You're human. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. So why bother? We've only got our eyesight. The eyesight is the only straight thing on us. Work with the eyesight. If my sight is on, and I've got pressure here, I can feel when that pressure is lined up. You've got to get the feeling and the eyesight together. Okay? So uh, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is when you draw, we don't really draw to the ear. Okay? We draw sort of towards the ear, but the ear has nothing to do with it. I'm not thinking about my ear when I'm drawing. I'm just getting it back there. It comes back to around here on me, okay? It's by the ear. Now, look. 
this is a big deal also. When I draw back to my ear, do you see that the back of the arrow is really by my eye? The back is by my eye. The front is not, it's way over there. But the back is, so what do you do? You get the back under your eye and you do this, bop. Get it? When it comes back, it's so close to the eye when you draw by your ear that all you have to do is look along the arrow. Bop. <laughs> Bop. With the left hand, okay? So the right hand is just holding it there. The right fingers are just having the string dug right into them. You feel that pressure and it pivots from the string onto the target, from back, on at the front. Aim from the back. The back of the arrow is under the eye. I'll say it 50 times. Get it? When that hand comes back there, it's right by your eye, right? Now watch. Watch how the hands swing together. Just watch this. See, this is back here. Now watch. Bam. You see how it went on? That's what I'm talking about with the string. I'm feeling the pressure. So it really uh, is like that old movie, movie I made about the pivot principle. How the, the arrow will fall, or the, the bow will follow the string. Okay? Also, the string is a pivot point. See, the arrow, or the bow, can pivot around this arrow. Jeez. Pivot around the string. I might get it straight one of these days. Anyhow, what I'm trying to say is this is a pivot. It will pivot this way around the bow or it will pivot this way around the string. Let it pivot. Okay. Uh, now, uh, another really, really important thing is that you do not even have to try to aim. It happens automatically. Now, watch my hand. As my hand goes back, you will see that it disappears behind my head. Okay, it's going back farther and farther. See how it just disappears behind my head? So I do not have to try to aim. All I have to do is hold it on, and eventually, if I pull back far enough, it will go straight. That's a big deal. That's all I do. I don't try to aim anymore. I do not try to aim. It's just all torquing. It's just simply put it on and pull it back and pull it back until it goes straight. Arrow alignment. That's all it is. So uh, if you do those kinds of things, I think that uh, it'll be a big help. Uh, another thing that I'll add on to all this stuff is when I start to look at the target, see if I can move back so you can see this, I, I want that arrow to be out there, okay? Out there as far as I can get it. So that's not good enough just to do that. When I do it, I'll actually almost like lift my arms up and reach out, you know, right? It's not just, oh yeah, I'm out there. It's like I will bend my knee, I will bend into it, and I will reach out and put the tip of this arrow right on his belly button. And of course then, go to full draw. If you've stretched it out as far as you can, and you've pulled it back as far as you can, that bow is juiced. She's ready to go. She'll put an arrow right through a guy or two. Okay, so uh, that was just about all the excitement I could stand for the night. How about you guys? <laughs> Anyhow, um, that's the basics, okay? That's the basics. Draw it out as far as you can, push it out as far as you can, pull it back as far as you can, let it float, don't touch that anchor. Touching the anchor is a big mistake. It's a big mistake.
Here's another thing that I do. I'm coming up with all kinds of little things I do. You know, when my arm is all the way back, and my hand is here, if I touch my face, I can't adjust the back of that arrow. It's solid. But if I am not touching my face, watch the, my back finger. See how that arrow can go, boop, 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 boop. So if I'm slightly off, I just go, bop, with the fingers. As long as the arm is back and it's relaxed, it will do that. Okay? So, get it under your eye, roll it on. If it's not on, adjust your fingers. Always keep those arms relaxed. Um, now, I think that we're getting pretty close to uh, a bunch of the stuff that I had to tell you tonight. And uh, uh, one last thing. I was watching some Africans, the Hunza tribe, shooting their bows. And these guys actually use a longbow. And uh, when they shoot, you know, it's the same thing. You see, they've got it, and, and, and they're crouching out over that arrow, you know. And you can just see that, that, that same style of pulling it straight. You know, don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget it before you go. One last time. Look, guys, pull it straight. It's from back here it's being pulled straight. Anyhow, that's probably a pretty long movie. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good life. Have a bunch of fun. Shoot those bows. Win those wars. Take care, guys. <laughs>